college hockey season is upon us. The 2012-13 season is here. We've been roasting back for another year of Sacred Heart Hockey with you and joined by the head coach, C.J. Maritola. The Pioneers begin the season Friday night at Providence College. The first time we'll face a hockey school uh, in about four or five years. In fact, the last time we faced was Providence. How excited are you guys to get it going? Yeah, we're very excited. The guys have had uh, a great couple of weeks of practice here and the season that we think they're up with. It'll be a great challenge for us tomorrow night. Um, Providence is a, you know, the final four of the hockey championships last year. Um, so we expect a very competitive game and uh, we just have to our guys and get ready for tomorrow and I can't wait to play the video game and get you doing something. So uh, I'm excited to watch them play. What did you take on the exhibition against St. Thomas? It was a, a loss, but I, I mean, you were rotating goalies in, you were mixing lines up, getting a feel for a lot of the new guys, and there are a lot of new faces. What did you see? Um, we were disappointed any time we lose a game, but as the coaching staff put that on the watch the video, uh, there were so many good things. Uh, the work ethic, uh, systematically, our system, so a lot of great things. Uh, I thought we actually carried the play with the young chance for 50 to 6. So, uh, first off, we disappointed, watched the video, and there's a lot of good things going on, and uh, we were excited to have watched that. Last year, the one real bright spot was how you guys finished. It was a tough, uh, rocky few months there, but in the end, you were trading wins and ties with some pretty good teams in Atlantic Hockey. You went three games uh, with Bentley, a really nice win in game two. It looked like, especially the freshman class last year, the sophomores now kind of came into their own about that last month in February. Is there a chance that you, know, you think they really build off that and come in this year, uh, building on that success that they you know, started to experience in February? Yeah, we, we talked about that as a team, and uh, there's no question that momentum that we built up last year, uh, we're hoping to carry over into uh, the beginning of this year. And last year's freshman class, no question, they made a big slide going down the stretch, and uh, they'll be counting on us very heavily uh, with our senior leadership um, to carry this right now. Um, we really like a lot of the freshmen, what they've done in practice and in the exhibition game. So, uh, you know, there's, we're, we're excited about this year. Senior leadership, you just mentioned it, so great segue to Eric DeLong, who will be the captain for the second straight year wearing the C on his jersey. And uh, he had a tough start, but also came on towards the end last year. Just an unbelievable freshman year, and 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 time sophomore year and junior year, you saw glimpses of that guy that could keep, you know just kept putting the puck in the net and setting people up this freshman year. He really, like I say, came around down the stretch last year. What do you expect from him this year? Uh, Eric has done a tremendous job here as a captain and leader of this hockey team, and he's such a genuine young man. He, he takes everything to heart, and I think. Uh, the captain, he might have burdened him, burdened him a little bit uh, last year. Uh, he just takes everything to heart. Um, he felt like he had to do everything to do this day. And, uh, he felt he had to score some time on the ice, make a play, and he was treated with such dignity and honor. And I think um, with this year's senior class, uh, the leadership has just spread out a little bit. I think that's going to alleviate him a little bit. And he just has to be himself and, uh, you know, bring his work ethic and determination that he brings every day in practice to every game we play. And uh, he and I have talked a lot about just how to get at this because we don't have to worry about everything. That's why we just missed their captains, and that's why we brought them uh, to help help him along the way. And he's looked terrific in practice. He's looked faster. He looks leaner. Um, and he looks hungry. So uh, that's a good thing. You talk about that help he's going to have an assistant captain. How many cats down here? He's been a real role player in his time here at Sacred Heart, Neil Fatini. Uh, kind of a role player in fact, too, although he, he gets in there a lot. I think it kind of speaks to something I've talked to you about uh, at length uh, the, the last couple of years and how much character counts. Those are two guys with some really good character. How important is their character going to be for the overall team character on Pioneer? And there's no question that uh, Tommy Kastner and Neil Fatini bring that to this hockey team. And it's a culture that we're trying to create with this hockey team character. Uh, you know, they win without character. So uh, I love the leadership group that we have. And I could put the, uh, the guys here in the seats in the middle, but also the, the senior class. There's some great character there. And uh, I think that's going to trip them out a little bit more about things the right way and the daily habits and how they prepare. And uh, I think some of the hopeful young guys here show a lot of traits of character. Brian Steven and 
Me, George, and two players that really stood out last year in their freshman year. And George was unbelievable down the stretch. He had that 12-game point streak, only snapped on the last day of the year uh, against Bentley. What do you expect from them in this year's sophomore year? We expect them to get a little better. Friday night at 7 o'clock. We have a call for you here on the Pioneer Sports Network. 